Well, hey, Life Spring, I hope y'all are having a great week. Um, this weekend, we will finish up our series, Battlegrounds. Um, it's going to be a good one. Um, I do want to say that um, this would be a great week for uh, your children if they're not yet going to Life Kids to go to Life Kids because we're going to talk about some things that they may not be quite ready to hear yet. So I want to encourage you with that. Also, this Sunday night is Vision Builders Night. We have 85 people signed up for it between adults and kids. It's going to be a great evening for us, and I cannot wait. And so if you're signed up, man, I cannot wait to share with you uh, just how faithful God has been this year and then just give you kind of an outline of where we're going next year. So today what I want to do is give us a really quick filter for how do I evaluate the thoughts that are coming in, the, in my mind and determine if it's myself telling me the story and pushing me towards um, just dwelling on my pain, my losses, my failure, my wounds, or is it the Holy Spirit pointing me back to the truth of who I am in Christ? So how do we do that? Because we all have thoughts. We have thoughts that just run through our mind. And what we often will do is we'll just let them sit there. And we won't evaluate them. We won't think about them. But what Paul tells us to do, and this is, this is the filter here, is simply this. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5, he says this. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God, and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. So, here's the filter. Evaluate what you think through what God has said. No thought is just a thought. All thoughts have tremendous power to shape our lives. What we focus on is what we'll feast on. The mind governed by the flesh or the self is death, but the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. And so what we think is important, and so it's important for us to identify what am I thinking, and then ask, is this actually true compared to what God has said? Is this true compared to who God says I am in Christ? Is this true compared to what God has set as the standard for the way I think, the way I live, the way I do things? Is it true compared to God's word? That's the filter. And so here's just a little a real practical um, activity you can do. Take about 10 minutes sometime. Get a journal. And just write down all the thoughts that pop into your mind. Just, just write them down. And then take each one and ask, what has God said about this? Who does God say I am in Christ? What has God called me to do? Who has God called me to be? We don't just passively allow our thoughts to run free and unchecked through our mind. We take every thought captive and make it obedient to Christ. And if it's not obedient to Christ, we reject it. If it is in line with God's word, we dwell on it. We marinate it and we let it get deeper into our soul to reinforce the story of who we are in Christ. So I hope that's helpful for y'all. I cannot wait for Sunday. I'll see y'all then. I love y'all. Y'all have a great week.